happens, everything that happens to the children has its source in the history by the fathers. The story of Hanukkah is unique in sense Chazal tell us that it's that Am Yisrael before the final perfection of the world, so to speak, what we call Achris Hayomim, when the world will come to its, so to speak, utopia, Achris Hayomim, the end of time, that Hashem will reveal the truth. The Rashi explains, Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad, today he's Elokeinu, we recognize him, but the world doesn't recognize him. But Hashem Echad is like we say at the end of Davin, that day, the whole world will recognize the basic truth. Hashem will reveal the basic truth. Now Hashem wants us to get reward for the mitzvahs so he doesn't show the basic truth. But Chazal tell us that in opposition of this Hashem Echad, we have Am Yisrael has to go and through four exiles. And these four exiles are hinted in the very first verse of the second verse of the Torah. I'll explain. Tayu is the first goddess that's Boho. Boyu is Persia conquered the Malchus, took the kingdom Persia, that's Made, Parasu Made, they took the kingdom from Babylonia, and Amisol then was under Persian. That's in the whole story of Purim. And then Choyshech refers to the, the Greeks, the Greek civilization, that they may darken the eyes of Klal Yisrael with their decrees. Al Pnei and Yovan, even after we're redeemed from them, Al Pnei Tahoim, they continue to send their darkness, we'll explain it in a minute, into Tahoim, into the abyss of no, nothingness. Tahoim refers to the Golas which we're in today, which we don't see the end of it, the Roman Golas. This is Rome. And we're still at the Malchus, the kingdom of Edoim and Esau. And we are still in this Golas today. But at the end of time, the Torah says, Baruch Elohim, this is the spirit of the King Mashiach. Baruch Elohim Rachefes is going to come. In which schus, in which merit shall we be redeemed at the end of time from this Golas? Baruch Elohim Rachefes Al Pnei Hamayim. What is Mayim? Mayim, water, the Ruach of the Kim is hovering over the Spirit of God. So that's the Spirit of the God which will be revealed. That's King the Melech HaMashiach, the, the Messiah, the Melech HaMashiach, is hovering over the water. What is the water? Water is the power of tshuva, of coming back to Hashem. How do we see that water refers specifically to tshuva? So the Medrash Darshans interprets it, brings a Pasuk in Echo. Shifchi kamayim libech noichach pnei Hashem. Pour your heart like water against the face of Hashem. Shifchi kamayim libech. In other words, when the reason why a person doesn't choose tshuva is because he hardens his heart. He puts himself hard. He can't bend himself in front of Hashem. Water, the water takes the shape of its container. You know that Moshe Rabbeinu, who was, one can say, the most perfect Jew, Moshe Rabbeinu, who gave us the Torah. How does the Torah express his name? His whole name is Moshe Ki Min Hamayim Mishisu. I drew him from the water. Because Moshe doesn't have an individual personality. Moshe takes this, like the water takes the shape of its container. Moshe Rabbeinu takes the shape of the will of Hashem. That's the, that, this is the essence of Moshe Rabbeinu. So tshuva is represented by water. The, at the end of time, one will do tshuva. Now, the reason why we have the Maral Mi Prague explains why Am Yisrael has to go specifically through four. Because like we say, Am Yisrael, the identity of Am Yisrael is that we are the Am Hashem. Like we say, perhaps in Davning at Mincha time, which also Mincha of Shabbos represents the future. How do we open up the special prayer, the special blessing at the time of Mincha? Rabbi said, now you help me out, so we'll do the thinking together. What's the beginning of the Tefillah of Mincha? The special words that Tefillah's Mincha begins with, not Baruch HaTashem, that's every day, but the Brocha, the special, the middle Brocha of Mincha, how do we begin? Ato Echod, you are one. Veshimcha Echod, your name is one. Umika Amcha Yisrael, who is like your nation Israel, 
Goy Echod Bo'or, it's the day of one. They are dedicated, they unite, they, they, sit, they dedicate all their actions, they unite all their actions to the one HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And in other words, the, the identity of Amisos, is they are Goy Echod, they're one nation, they're, they're, they're one nation and they're separate from all the other nations because they're dedicated to Hashem Echod. Like Hashem is Echod, Am Yisrael is Echod. This is the identity of Am Yisrael. How much in this world, how much is going against one? So the Moral explains the, the, the period, the division of this world is represented by the number four. Because you can go, the, in this world, this is the world HaGeshem, this is the world of the opposite. Everything in this world is anti-one. Because Geshem, something of material by definition, means it's the visible. And everything that's the visible to parts has it can be the visible. There's four directions. So from the from the east and the west and the north and the south, one is in opposition to the Am, which is Hashem Echad. And that, that's why Am Yisrael has to go through four Goliaths. And one of these Goliaths is Yovan. But Yovan is that's why I began. Yovan is very different than all the other exiles. In which way is it different? Yavon was a spiritual battle. It did not want, they did not want to kill the Jews. They did kill the Jews. When did they kill the Jews? When they refused to Hellenize, when they refused to accept the Greek culture, they killed them. But if the Jew wanted to create a Medina Yisrael, excuse me for the expression, like the Jews here, a, a secular state, this was the dream of Yavon. And that's what it says, we don't, we, even after the redemption of Hanukkah, we are still not entirely removed. We're not potter, so to speak. We're not, we didn't get rid of Hellenization and, the, and this, this shita. They continue, that's the Pasuk says, Yovan continues to darken the eyes of Am Yisrael. They send their darkness into the Golas of Rhein. We didn't get potter from that. But this is something we you had unique to this Nitzachon. In other words, a secular Jew, it's, bad, it's good that he does the mitzvah of lighting the candles. It's a good thing because it shows that he identifies with a Jew. But he, uh, the, the secular Jew of, uh, of the Medina Yisrael would have had absolutely no sense of the Golis, no sense of, of, of <laughs> no problem with Yom. This is, this is what the, the people that established this day dreamed of. It's a, the Hanukkah is exactly the opposite. It's the, it's the, and, and that's what it represents, the Mesirat Nefesh at all costs, the giving, the, the refusing to give into any obstacles and to, to keep the mitzvahs. As the whole Hanukkah is a spiritual redemption. It's a spiritual victory because the Golas of Yovan, unlike the other Golas where they wanted to kill Jews and they made it difficult physically in this world, Yovan simply wanted that the Jews, their, their dream was we should all join and be together, like, like the story of Shem, Am Echad, we should all be to assimilate, ecumenization if you want. We should all be together, one nation, and that's they wanted to contaminate the Kedusha of the Torah, nothing else. So Chachamim say, in other words, the, the, the beginning of the Gzei, what's called Chachamim called Gzei Rashmad. What was Gzeir Shman? Decrees that the Jews should leave their Torah. Like the first decrees that they made was on the special mitzvahs which represent yeah. Kedusha, like it's known. On three mitzvahs, the Yavonim made decrees. What are the three mitzvahs specifically? Shabbos, that they shouldn't keep Shabbos. Circumcision. Circumcision, Milo. Right. And, uh, and, Chodesh. and Rosh Chodesh, right. And I say, if you want, if you want the Simon Ladova, Please give us Ibtus Hashem Besimcha, it's Rashi Tevis Sameach. The opposite is Sameach. Shabbos, Shin, Mila, Chaydish, Sameach. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> or if you want, Mashiach, if we're out the Yud, is also the Mashiach comes to be Makadish, the Schutzni Mitzvah will be Zechat to Mashiach. The Mem, Mem is Mila, Shin, Shabbos, and Chet is Chaydish. So, or if you want another similar dava, 
Mizmo Shir Chanukas Habayas Ladovet. The victory over the keeping of the mitzvahs gave us Chanukas Habayas, right? Let's look at the three first letters of the three words of Mizmo Shir Chanukas Habayas. Mizmo Shir Chanukas. Mizmo Mem Mila Shir Shabbos Chanukas Chodesh. So they, uh, so where do we have in Ovis HaOilam? I go back again to the beginning. Maisa Ovis Simla Bonin. Where do we have Maisa Ovis? Where is the root of this decree of Shmad? So Chachomim say it's in the battle of Yanke of Avinu that we, that we read last week. Yanke of Avinu has a battle with a Malach. Vayovik Ish Imoi Ad Alois Hashacha. A malach, how do you have a battle between a human being and a malach? A malach, of course, they doesn't have to they overpower physically a human being. It's no problem. It's not a battle. Right? So where, what is a malach? A malach is something spiritual. So this was a spiritual battle. This malach, which was the Tsar of Esau, wanted to be chmachti. He wanted to bring Yaakov to Tumah. To, to an Aveira to sin. And the Nitzachoim, the victory over this Malach, this is symbolic of the victory over Yovan as well. This was, a, this was a spiritual battle. So Hanukkah is all about a spiritual victory. And this is the reason it's brought down in Shulchan Oloch that the Sudot, the Mitzvah, the Sudot, the Shemar bin Behem, the Sudot that will make some Hanukkah, Einon Ela Sudat Vishus, they're not a Sudat Mitzvah unless you sing. Shirot v'hodorot, unless you sing shirot of praise to Hashem. Because we don't have a mitzvah to eat on Hanukkah. Well, unlike Purim, that we have a mitzvah to eat, because there they wanted to uproot the physical. There they weren't interested in making Am Yisrael to do a sin. They just wanted that Am Yisrael should disappear from the world. It's to actually kill them and annihilate them like the plan of Hitler. So there, because it was a physical challenge, we celebrate it with mitzvahs of Achila Vishtiya. There's a mitzvah to drink wine and there's a mitzvah to eat. But not on Hanukkah. Hanukkah we celebrate it only with spiritual mitzvahs. Osum the Mogar says in Shabbos, Osum Yomim Toivim Bahalu Vahoido. They are days of praise to Hashem and thanks. I always say that in America, those come from America, they have Thanksgiving Day. We don't have a Thanksgiving Day, but we have. We have eight Thanksgiving Days. That's Hanukkah. Hanukkah is Thanksgiving Day. You may hallelujah. Eight days of Thanksgiving to Hashem. You may hallelujah. That's that's the whole yontiv. It's a yontiv. There's no isa malacha. It's a yontiv of hallelujah. Praise to Hashem. So now let's go. But let's go back. So, and, and perhaps there's a remez. I think the mechubalim, the those of Kabbalah say a remez in the parasha. Where did the malach touch in the Anki of Avinu? What is the language of the pasuk? Vayiga. Where did he touch? What's the what? Giranosha, right? But it says the Giranosha, the kaf, the kaf yerechai. Kaf, the word kaf, backwards is pach. Pach Hashem and Amunach bechayis Moshev Kohen Gadol. That's the pach, the pach Hashem, and he tried to be metami him. And there's a remez of the pach Hashem and the pach Hashem and Amunach bechayis Moshev Gadol represents the talmidei chachomim. Which are which are munach the chayis moishel kohen gadol. It means that they are sealed in the base medrash in the Torah that they don't accept the hashpa that they have an insulation not to receive the uh, the in influence the they, uh, they, uh, the Torah puts a seal around them that they shouldn't accept, absorb the influence of the culture of the goyim. They 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 are uh, they they absorb themselves in the kedusha. In the holiness of the Torah, that's the pacha munach lechayis moshel kohen gadol, because the kohen gadol represents the kedusha where nowhere the guy can't penetrate, because the kohen gadol, you know, went into a place that once a year on the holiest, on the not the holiest day, but it was in, in a certain sense on a day totally removed from Gashmias, the kohen gadol went into a place where, where which was also totally removed from Gashmias. He went in, only the Kohen Gadol went into the Holy of Holies, to the Kodesh HaKadoshim. So the Pach HaMunach, where the nest, where the miracle of Hanukkah came from, the Pach HaMunach, the Chos Mishel Kohen Gadol, is telling me from where did Am Yisrael merit this miracle to, to the Nisnit Sochon, this victory over the Greeks. Because of the Chsima of the Kohen Gadol, that means because they had a connection with the Kodesh HaKadoshim. 
because they had a connection to insulate themselves from the hashpo of the goy. That's how they could be victorious and throw out the Yavonim. So the whole Yisod of Hanukkah is the Indian of, of the opposite of what the Pasuk says, by Yisav, the Golas is, by Yisarhu, by Goyim, by Yimudu Maseim, that they mix with the Goyim, they learn their Maisim. The opposite of that is that the Jew and the Goy, the, 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 the learning from the Goy, this, in, the infiltration of the influence of the Goy destroys Kedushas Yisrael. And the opposite of that is to, uh, the, the way that they translate it, as much as a person can insulate themselves, to throw out the internet and throw out the radio, and throw out the whatever you want, that's all hashpos hagoy. To how much a person can, uh, can surround himself in an atmosphere of Kedusha, that's pach hamunach b'chais m'shul koyim gadol. And these are the lights, that's what gives the oilis, these gives the, gives the light, the light of Chanukah. So now, just something interesting. I always like, I have a tendency, I hope that it's not damaging others. I have a, I like, personally like the matria. And there's a lot of interesting things you see sometimes through the matria. The gematria is not a proof, but after the ideas are right and you see it in the gematria, it's very, very interesting. Vayiga, first of all, I will repeat, you know, we have two holidays which represent, two holidays that are born and represent the victory of Am Yisrael over the Tzoros, the problems of Goyim, and these are these holidays are to keep us, to give us the power to survive the, through the Golas. And this is Hanukkah and specifically Purim. So this is a, this Vayiga, I said that these are the Vayiga, the Kaf Yerechoi, the fight with the Malach, this is connected with the Tzolas of Golas. The Vayiga, if you notice, Vayiga, this is from, not my Gematria, but this is from Rabbi Yezid Chaim Zanabel. Very interesting. Vayiga, how much is the Gematria Vayiga? I'm sorry to make you use your head, but it's not a bad thing to use that. Song. 83? 87. 89. If you have a blackboard, we can do it together. Bob is, Bob, Bob is 6, and you is 10 is 16, and, and, and 3 is 19. So 19 plus 70. And you have the 89. And Hanukkah, if we take the little letters as well, Hanukkah, let's take the big letters. Nun and Chaf is immediately 70. Right? That's like the I. And then we're left with Ches, Vav, and Hey. Ches and Vav, 8 and 6 is 14, and 5 is 19, so it's 89. Vayiga, Hanukkah. Purim, Purim is Pei, Vav, Reish, Yud, Mem. Reish, Yud, Mem is 250. Pei, Vav is 86. 250 and 86 is 336. Kaf is 100. Yerei, Choy is 236, 336. Very fascinating. Vayiga, Kaf, Yerei, Choy is Purim and Hanukkah. I hinted over here. But I want to say something else. I want to, isn't that fascinating? I think it's fascinating. What, is what are the odds in probability that this be a coincidence? When we know that this is referring to the, this is the myself the single bottom of the conflict, the opposition of Israel, the Kedush of Am Yisrael against the Umar Sa'il of the nations of the world, which they, their opposition is because they can't bear, because we are the carriers of Kedush HaSyankif of the Kedusha of Yanka. This is where the opposition comes from. If you want to know, I, there's, they've written all sorts of books on anti-Semitism, and nobody with Chochmah Sumer Sayyidun can get to the bottom of it. Because there is no, there's absolutely no human logic that can define anti-Semitism. Anti-Semitism is simply the Hisnagdut, the opposition of Tuma to Kedusha. It's a spiritual battle. It doesn't come, there's no way in any chachma, in any logic that it can be defined. If one doesn't believe in Kedushas Yisrael, it can't, it doesn't have a definition. But somewhere the Goyim know that Am Yisrael has Kedusha, and they being part of this physical world, there's a natural, the physical world wants to swallow up the Kedusha of Klai Yisrael. And this is where, the, this is where it comes from, and that's that, that's where Golas is, Mulum is in that battle between the Malak of Esau and, and now, it's interesting. We have three mitzvahs. Three mitzvahs on Hanukkah, specifically. What are the three mitzvahs? Ner. Ner, the night of Ner. And then we have a mitzvah that says they made it Yom Tayyidun by Halil Haidor. To say praise to Hashem, Halil, and Haidor Hashem. So let's see. Something very interesting. By the way, the Rama puts it together. Because the tachlis, the purpose of the lighting of the Neris, is 
to remind us of the miracles. The, and the miracle that Hashem made in the Menorah that was symbolic of the whole, of the whole victory was a miracle from Hashem. Because of the Mesiras Nefesh of the Bnei Matis Yol, the Mesiras Nefesh, they were ready to give their lives no matter what and to fight for the mitzvahs of Hashem. So, the Rambam, when he brings down this mitzvah, he hears that when you see the Neiris, you have to be Moisif Bahaidol Hashem al When you look at the Neiris, this should bring you to extra thanks to Hashem for the miracles that He, he puts it together. The Neiris are to awaken us, to put us in contact with those miracles and to praise and, and say hallow to Hashem. Now, hallow, hallow is Bigmatria 65, which by the way is one of the names of Hashem. We open up every village from Esri with this name of Hashem, Aleph, Dalit, Nun, Yun. It's the Shem Adnis, that he's the master of the world. You say hallow on miracles. Miracles remind us that even though Hashem, that this world is not a natural phenomenon, because Hashem thinks the laws of nature are arbitrary from Hashem, and he can change them in any way, way anytime he wants. So the hallow, which is Alanes, is connected with the name Aleph Dalad Nun Yud. He's the master of the world. If he's the master, he can change it at any time. It's a, these world, these, he's the, he made the laws, and he can change them at, wish, at any will. So that's hallow. Then we have a mitzvah of Haidor Hashem, which is interesting. The Haidor, the Hallel has to bring to Haidor. Why does the Hallel have to bring to Haidor? The Ramban, at the end of Pasha's boy, he explains the purpose of the revealed miracles is not for themselves. Really, much more important than the revealed miracles are that a Jew understand that everything in all circumstances happen to him, whether, on the, whether in terms of the cloud, meaning the general nation, or whether even more in terms of the prat, every individual Jew, that every single detail in every individual's life, in every Jew, is is, is, is not natural phenomena. It's what the Ramban calls nisim nistolim, hidden miracles. And nisim hagluyim, from the revealed miracles, the other person comes to praise Hashem and to recognize the hidden miracles. And the purpose of the revealed miracles is to make us aware that all of life is hidden miracles, and it's all decrees from Hashem. So, and that's what the door is about. Haidor, to thank Hashem, that's like Rashi brings down, Vahaftas Hashem Bechol Ma'idcha. What's Bechol Ma'idcha? Bechol Mida Umida. Whichever what Hashem does for you, know that He's doing it in the Taib, heavy Ma'idaloi. There's an Avoida of Avas Hashem, the Mitzvah's essay of Avas Hashem, which the Torah describes with the term Bechol Ma'idcha. How do we fulfill this mitzvah? Whichever measure he happens to do for you, even though you don't understand, you have a chiyav of haidor. The chiyav of haidor, that's alanisim nistol. That's halul v'haidor. V'haidor so the halul shimcha agvodah. We have a mitzvah that halul has to bring us to haidor Hashem. Now let's look. Haidor, let's spell it. And I go to Gematria now. You know when Moshe Rabbeinu when Hashem spoke to Moshe Rabbeinu to take Am Yisrael out of Golis, Moshe Rabbeinu said, the Jews are going to ask me, what's the name of Hashem? So Hashem said a special name. What was the name that Hashem said to Moshe Rabbeinu? Eka Hashem. Eka, I will be. I will be. I'm with them in this tsar, and I, I'm always with them. In, in other words, in, in the Hester, in the hidden difficulties and obstacles, I'm there. I made those obstacles, but I'm with them to help them over achieve, overcome these obstacles. Eka. I am with them and I will be with them. Eka, I will be with them like I'm with them now. Eka is Aleph, Hey, Yud, Hey. How much is the Gematria of Eka? How much is that? 21. Now let's take the word Haidor. Hey, Vav, David, Aleph, Hey. Haidor. 21. Eka. I'm going to Hashem because he's there. It's him. It's all him. Eka. Now, if we put Haidor, it's fascinating. It's a shame Hashem. Hal is a shame of Hashem, Adnus. Haidor is a shame of Hashem, Eke. And if you put the two together, Hal and Haidor, the two mitzvahs together, in other words, the 65 and 21, 86, you know, the 86 is 14, okay. It's all Hashem. We express that Hashem is the master of everything, master of all the forces. With Hal and Haidor, a Jew, with Halal, 
It gets to a Lakin. But now let's go back to the three mitzvahs that we have. Something yeah. absolutely yeah. fascinating. Yeah. We have Ner, and we have, so Ner is 250. How much is 250 and 86? How much is it? 336. Kapi So we can all put it all on Hanukkah. Vayiga Hanukkah. And on Hanukkah, we are metaken the shlit of Esau and the Kapi with these three mitzvahs. Ner, Halel, Haidor. Kapi And what is this number 336? This number 336 represents, in, in, in Svarim, it's written, this is the Tikkun of the Din. Hi, Rabbi Sai, I hope you forgive me. Maybe I've been going too far with giving this reason. <laughs> but it's, it's fascinating. It's absolutely fascinating. It says like this. The, the Arizal says, when Yankiv went to Golis, the Torah expresses, my Sibon, where do we have this, my Sibon, Sibon, Levon, Rabbi Sai, where do we have an, a, a, the concept of Golis by our father, Yankov? He went to Golis. Where did he go? Levon. He went to? Levon. But he went to see Levon, but which place? Vayetze Yankiv, Vayetze Yankiv, Choron. He went to Choron. Yeah. The Golis represents, the, so the Ariza says, the, the Golis represents the, 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 the uh, mass, the kifis, the strength of Din, of stern judgment. Which name is the name of Hashem which is, represents Din? Which name? Yeah. Hello, Kim. And you know, you learned Tayyar Gemara, right? There's a concept of Chazaka, right? Chazaka, like three times, means it's very strong, right? How much is three times Hello, Kim? Hello, Kim is 86. How much is three times 86? 250 plus 18. 258. Chol. Chol. So three times Elokim is Golis. Chol. <laughs> but if you, but we want to get out of Golis. Which name of Hashem? Which name of Hashem is Rachamim? Which name of Hashem is Rachamim? Okay. Okay. Oh. Uh, Tukif Rachamim is three times Shem Hashem. How much is three times ten Shem Hashem Rachamim? How much is it? Three times twenty-six. Yes. So how much is it? Seventy-eight. Seventy-eight. Now put seventy-eight together with the two fifty-eight. You know what you get? Three thirty-six. Like the Rachamim Kapi Rechay. So here we have the mitzvahs, which is fascinating. It's, 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 it sounds like if it's you more think about it, it's Purim, absolutely fascinating. And that's Purim. Purim. They're both the same. Nahum. So we have the mitzvahs of Hanukkah and Purim have a tzara shabbat. These are the Hanukkah. These both of them are ma'ayur the rachamim of gula me'agolus. With the kaiyus of these mitzvahs, Purim and Hanukkah, we have the kaiyach to survive the golus. And it's all there in, in the numbers. It's there too. And it's in the concept and it's in the numbers. You got it? You have to maybe go over it, tell it over. We do it again. Do it again. It's an absolutely fascinating thing. Absolutely fascinating. Akadosh Bokhu was me this is probably something that Akadosh Bokhu on the therapy was Maya Ainai. He opened my eyes and to notice this. I'll call Pony. Now let's go back. We have in front of us three mitzvahs. We have. We have three mitzvahs on Hanukkah. Yeah. Three brachas, sorry. We have three mitzvahs. But we also have a mitzvah only once a year do we do a mitzvah, twice a year do we do a mitzvah, and we do on this mitzvah three brachas. And that's Purim. When we read the Megillah, we make three brachas. The first, how do we make on, on, on the night of Purim? Al Mikra Megillah. Shalas and Isim Avasayu Vayom Ahim Mazam Zman Azad Shechiyonu. That's the only time of the year that we make on one mitzvah three brachas is Purim. And Hanukkah, the first night of Hanukkah. The first night of Hanukkah. Bris Milo. I hear it's a bris, all right. That's not a mit chag, but this bris very good. That's also bris Milo is our uniqueness for bris with Hashem. Out of out of out of umas I call upon him in 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 mitzvah shabbosmanim. We have Hanukkah and Purim. Now where is this? Now it's hinted in the Torah. It's very fascinating. Remember this, there's a pasuk in, in, in Pasha's Chuk, uh, Pasha's Chukas, first of all. Pasha's Chukas, okay, that's in Bamidbo. Bamidbo over here. Yeah, Bamidbo. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rav Hillel, we have, we have. Yeah, I tell it to you by heart, you have to see it inside. Anybody else want to bring it You know that Am Yisra, oh, Adarab, very good. So you can look inside, where is it? You know the story that they spoke, they spoke on a Kodesh Bohu, and Hashem sent them snakes which bit them in the Midbar as a punishment because they spoke Lashon Hara and Moshe Rabbeinu and Hashem in Pasha's Chukas. It was a terrible story. And so, uh, and 
Hashem sent them. So then, how did they get cured? This is from the Paiskin, bring down this image. In Parak Babib Bukhav Aleph Pasik Chet. Make yourself a, a copy of a snake. It's called a sorab. The Sima Isayal Ness and put it on a on a on a bomber, on a B on a platform, high platform. The raw Isai, whoever sees this. B'chai. When I look at this, and remind mm-hmm. himself of a miracle that Hashem is making a miracle, and, and this will be a cure. So, so he said like this: lecha, Here's a remnant to the three brachas of Hanukkah. We'll explain it in a second. Aseilacha sorif. Make yourself into a sorif like a malach. Aseilacha sorif v'hadik nechanukah. That's brachas v'hadik nechanukah. Because of why we were zeichet to the lights of Hanukkah because of the mesiras nefesh. Aseilacha sorif. Be like a malach that no obstacle stands in his way to do the rotzon Hashem. That's mesiras nefesh. Aseilacha sorif. That's the slavus of Torah and kedusha. Aseilacha sorif. Make yourself into a bren, into an amurish to do the rotzon Hashem. This tim oisoy al nes. And if you do that, you'll see nisim. This is my say on this. That's just a nisim. I will say to you, I am a man as there. The and and the male of the schus there, a person that sees nisim and he does the rotzon Hashem. Oh, here come a noshu. Whoever was bitten by the snake, the snake is the eight zahara. But if he's mysterious, never he's chayz of a chuba. But oh, I say he'll see these nisim. But chay shechiyonu bekiyonu bekiyonu as man as there. As these, so these are the three. These are the three. These are the this here is marumas, and, and I want to tell you that this is a symbol that on Hanukkah we are redeemed from the eight Sahara. Because what's the eight Sahara? The church of the eight Sahara is from what? Is from the Nochosh, right? So let's 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 look. The, what do you think? So we have. She was. So Achshav Kacha. So what do we have? We have we have Sorof Nochosh. Nochosh. We have. Make 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 the hadik be a solar. That's the opposite of, 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 of kedusha. And we have we we zayich to nisin nun. And we have and then you'll have chayim. Mm-hmm. We have those are the three letters of nachosh. Nachosh is nun. The nun of nachosh is nes. That's the opposite of the nachosh. Mm-hmm. The chet is chay and the sh- the shin is solar. That's connected the three brachas of jatikun and nachosh. I remember she as I know